Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's look at heating and cooling graphs. Let's first begin to look at the graph. We have temperature in Celsius on the y-axis, and then we have time on the x-axis. We're going to start as a solid. And over time, the temperature you can see is beginning to rise. So it's going to remain a solid until it gets to this temperature. And this is actually water, so I'm going to go over, and it's at zero degrees. At this point, it's beginning a phase change from a solid to a liquid. In other words, it's beginning to melt. But it takes a little bit of time. That's why you have the horizontal line with the temperatures remaining constant. Time is moving on, and it gets to a point where eventually it is now all liquid. And then the temperature, as you can see, begins to rise again. So at this point, it's all liquid until it gets to this horizontal line again and we have another phase change. It is beginning to boil and if you want to know the boiling point you just look over here and see what number is represented on this on the y-axis and we have a phase change. Remember it doesn't go immediately. It takes a little bit and eventually you have all gas and then again the temperature will begin to rise. Okay, let's go back to our original graph. Notice we, we start as a solid. As temperature goes up, kinetic energy also goes up. The potential energy is neutral. It's constant. However, when we get to the phase change, it switches. The potential energy goes up and the kinetic energy is now constant. And then the same thing will happen when we get to this part, when it's all liquid. Kinetic energy up, potential energy neutral. Then we'll have potential energy up, kinetic energy neutral. Now let's look at it on the cooling side. And now with this cooling curve, we kind of have the opposite. This part, the kinetic energy is going down, potential energy is neutral. Then during the phase change, it's going from gas now to liquid. So the potential energy is going down, kinetic energy is neutral or constant. Then here, kinetic energy is going down. Potential energy remains the same, etc., etc. I hope that helps with heating and cooling graphs. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.